and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you a blend tool alternative. You can use interpolation to create basically the same effect that you might know from the blend tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let me show you this on these ellipses. So we've got a flat ellipse and a circle and under extensions generate from path interpolation. You will get this menu. You might receive a warning message if you apply it or activate the preview. But you can see nothing has happened here. The reason is we'll have to convert it to a path first. So make sure that at the bottom the objects that you use are path objects. And when they're now selected and I use interpolate, we'll get this gradual interpolation. In this case it's three steps. You can also use other options right here with the boxes. In my example that doesn't make a huge difference or none at all, just keep it. But the interpolation method, it does make a difference. So if I use one, you can see it's not as smooth as it is with the method two. For the most part, you want to keep method two. Don't forget to apply it. And if you want to adjust your element further, it's a group now. So select it, then shift control G to ungroup. This blending effect also works with colors. So let us give them different colors, then path object to path. Extensions once more, generate from path and interpolation. And now we'll get the same effect for the form and the color at the same time. When you use lines, it's a little bit different. I've just drawn them with the Bezier tool and now if I go to path and stroke to path, you'll get this effect. So that's mostly not what you want to have. Therefore, when you use paths, just keep them. When you've created such lines with the Bezier tool, you can see it's already a path. So don't convert the stroke to path. Just select them and use the interpolation directly. And now you can see this line gradually getting flatter thanks to the interpolation. And again, it's a group, so shift Control G on it, and then you can adjust it further. And there's a blend tool alternative that you can find in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.